Alrighty, welcome to episode 68 <laughs> of the Consistent Genius Podcast. We're here with Matthew Morbido yes, and sir. Billy Strong. <coughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks for having me, bro. I appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. Welcome back, both of you. I don't know if we've ever done an episode with two of the finest. You two. Oh, shit. Um, have we been on together, Bill? No. I don't think so. I don't think so either. Who were you on with before? Jeremiah and... Um, Drew. And Nathan. And Evelyn, too. And Ev- I've been on like four what? episodes. What? This is your bro. fifth then? Wow, what can I that's say? Crazy. Fan favorite, fan favorite. You're favorite. probably that's one of like most played. I have most, the most views, yeah. Maybe. At least out of the one that I've been on, I have the most views on the one yeah, video yeah. with Evelyn, I think. Yeah. Oh, that was a lot. That was back in you that was, know, that the was early days. That was over a couple thousand. Yeah. The Reddit shit. Yeah. Bill Strong, you've been on once, twice... No, three twice, three times. Yeah, that's oh, it. Oh, with Josh and them, mm-hmm. Josh and Schaefer. I was on the second episode in the old studio. Oh, uh, you were. That was the second episode show. ever. Yeah, that was crazy. So it's been a while since you guys been on. Some new updates. Coronavirus <sighs> has came out of nowhere. Yeah, it hit me. Hard. You, it hit me hard. It hit you hard. Yeah, it did. Ah, that's crazy. I wouldn't say it came out of nowhere. Really? He came out of China. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wuhan. <laughs> Wuhan? Did you guys see about that one book? That was oh, written? that that's from Keemstar, isn't it? Yeah, it was yeah, written yeah. like 60 years ago. And the guy predicted the virus come 2020. Yeah. And, and it come from Wuhan, too. Shit. Yeah. So he's gonna not, he says he'll take out the whole entire population, though. I think we'll be cool. I don't know. Yeah, I think we'll be good. You know, Trump released a statement and said he got it under control. So. <laughs> and it's under control, baby. Two we per, don't got to worry two about two percent mortality rate. Come on, I heard it was three, but so three. That, that means like I also that. heard seven. So, so wait, know. if it's three, that means three out of about every hundred people that get it yeah. die. Yeah, that's not that bad. Most of it's old people too. People with weaker immune systems. So yeah, people, I saw a lot of people in nursing homes. Yeah, I saw a ninety-three year old that survived it. So like, two, wow, two people in Florida died, but they were older. Uh and, and infants can die from oh probably too. they have weak immune systems yeah I mean, shit they could die from the flu if they get it right you know I mean, it's literally just the flu with a died with like a weaker pneumonia combined yeah. I feel like that's what it is but yeah so if I already have shortness of breath from, from other things you know and I get the coronavirus then I, I guess I'm immune or something I'm not too nervous <laughs> if I get it if I get it I'll just walk, I'll just you know kick it off real quick it's not a big deal yeah it's not like that everyone on Twitter is saying that though so that's true I don't know but I guess but then I saw someone say the issue is not with you being able to survive it. The issue is you passing it on to people that can't survive Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's when you just got to quarantine yourself. Now, me yeah. and Billy, we went to the airport yesterday. So we I'm might, feeling a little dirty. We could have been exposed. You might have it right now. We would never Shit, know. Dude, I don't until know. 14 oh, yeah, days. Yeah, so you wouldn't know for a minute, but you'll did, find out. Did you see Ted Cruz was exposed to it? Really? Uh, yeah. But he said that. I think he said that. Uh, He's a G. I think he said it's been... Longer than the incubation period. Yeah, it's been a, it's maybe but six or seven days. He, I think he said he's staying home until yeah. the two weeks are. Up. You yeah, might as yeah. well, right? Yeah. Hey, he's doing it for his country, but Some no, self, I, yeah, self I quarantine the most. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I don't think everyone that comes in contact with it gets infected, but I think you know, like you said, people that are weak, they have a higher chance. Probably. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. It's I science. think it's. I think it's overhyped, in my opinion. Probably. So OSU yes. canceled all classes. Yep. And uh, OU officially weeks. has too. That's that's fucking until, awesome. Until March thirtieth. Now people at Columbus State, like myself, you know, we're we're just waiting. <laughs> we're on the coattails. Not cancel classes, just online classes. Yeah, but but I mean that's fucking basically canceled. canceled yeah. 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 yeah, I mean I'm pretty excited for it, and I also don't want to go back to my dorm. I have the option to stay. So that brings up another question that I had to pose. So you live in a quad. Yes. So you have four roommates total. Three rooms and total, and including myself. On okay, the fourth year. Yeah. so that'd be four total. At Columbus State, what Jamie, are you teaching him? You check that. <laughs> <laughs> but, and you moved all the beds into one room. Correct. Which was a thousand IQ play right there. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, kind of dirty. How now. do you, how do you, you know, beat the meat? Doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. I, I have another source. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Reinhardt. He well, said, probably, probably should go to the community bathroom or something. <laughs> that, I think that's what Dave said, wasn't it? Yeah. Wait, were you in the chat? Yeah. We were playing Fortnite. Did he say like, community, go bathroom? To the community bathroom? <laughs> that's so messed up. Wait, you guys have a bathroom in your thing, though? I'm glad he doesn't do it in our bathroom. That's where I shower. That's <laughs> interesting. So you have a shower and a toilet in there? Yeah. Is there two? No, just one. Sh- uh, no, just one. Just one. So like, it's like. Our bedroom and then our living room when there's a bathroom right there. Okay. With like a shower, sink, toilet. You would you clean out the wait, so there's only two rooms or there's three rooms total besides the bathroom? Two rooms. 
Okay. Did you move your like your all all your PCs and shit like? Yeah. <clears throat> it's pretty all our desks and stuff, you know, in one room. Smart. Like our our, our uh, couch, our uh, TV. That's sick. Yeah, we got a we, we got a couch too. Yeah. They live on couch. like the end of a building, so it's uh, kind of yeah, like corner. this. It's kind of it's kind of like the penthouse almost. It is oh, fourth yeah. floor, right? Yeah. It's pretty nice. Not third floor, third floor. Third floor, yeah. Yeah. One. Now, <clears throat> the only thing I don't like about your dorm. No AC. No AC. You walk in, there's 20 box fans stacked up high. Not anymore, not anymore, because now it's cold outside. Mm. But, like, probably next me- I probably next year they're getting AC, of course. Hopefully. When we leave. There are, what, eight dorms that don't have AC? Might be more than that. It's a good amount. It's kind of <laughs> some BS. Like there's... whole towers that don't have them? Or just no, no, not necessarily towers. More so like four, uh, eight, okay. like like four stories worth of uh, rooms. Yeah. And there's so many dorms and kids there, though. It's wild. Yeah, oh yeah. The fact that OSU is that much money, though. OSU, if you hear me, put some money towards the kids. Come on. Now. <laughs> For real. Hey, I heard there it's a research school, so that's why a lot of that never happens. That's some bull- whatever the hell that means. It means. You know the they research how to you know take all our money. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they must be doing something right, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I don't well, know. They did. They did hook us all up with the iPads and the pens. That is true. That's that pretty is nice. Probably the best thing that's ever. Happened. I will say, I do have an Apple pencil myself, and yeah. I don't really it's, use it ever. Taking nice. notes, I don't go to class and take notes on anything else besides my lap, besides yeah. my iPad, and just write it down on like some app I can take notes on. You just go on Notability. Yep. Create your folder. Everything's right there, you know. It's awesome. Do you ever yeah. review your notes? Yeah, yeah, when I study. When I study. Okay, I never study. That's crazy. Yeah. So I never look back at my notes. So I mean, you know, I write shit down. Yeah, well, it just also helps my memory writing stuff down too. So. Okay. I don't use my laptop at all. I use my PC for like some stuff, some classes. You do know? you have all your like homework and shit on your PC? Yeah, I do like my Excel homework on there. You yeah. Know, for my CSC class, and then that's about it. How and is that? A couple other things. It's a hard. Um, the average on the exam was like a sixty-eight, probably. Damn. I got, I got ninety-five percent. I studied a lot for it, yeah. so that's why. Because a lot of people just underprepared for it, didn't study, didn't think it'd be that hard, <clears throat> and then they get to the exam, they're like, I don't know how to do any of this. Yeah. Damn. I gotta you take know. that next semester. It really isn't that bad if you just if you. I mean, you also know technology. Yeah. So like, if you know how to use technology and have some common sense with it. it really Is it all Excel? Bad. Yeah, like the formulas on Excel. Once you know, I think have like get around excel you can do it i mean like some of the formulas definitely get kind of confusing you know some of them can get confusing but if you like do enough practicing of it and it kind of get a feel for how most problems are going to be then you can figure it out yeah that's what i had to do that's why you just do all the practice exams they give you so many practice exams if you don't like i don't know why you wouldn't do them yeah you know it's like it doesn't hurt to do them yeah that's like no one ever did them so that everyone's like wow i got a 55 on the exam well you should do the practice exams. <laughs> Like, but it's whatever. My yeah. worst grade on the exam so far is a fifty-eight percent, dude. Fifty-eight. That's tough. Well, I think well, my uh, lowest is sixty-eight. Biology. Or well, that's understandable. Your biology. I just didn't study it. Yeah, I, I got like a hundred and two on one of them. I got like a ninety-eight. I just did. I gave up. I was like, "Fuck this shit, dude." Yeah, like, fuck this. Like, shit. It was the last exam of the semester. It got dropped. So I was like, "Yeah." Well, oh well, yeah. Uh, so you didn't get a fifty-eight then. Yeah, but I got fifty-eight on it. But yeah, but I got yeah, dropped. That, so don't, you didn't that don't count. That don't. Why'd you even show up? Just to see, in case I could get a higher than what I already had. Get okay. A higher grade. okay. You know, at Ohio State, I don't know if they do this at Columbus State, but they want you to succeed. You know, oh, <laughs> oh, exceed the expectations. Ouch. Of dude, Ouch. I hear about you guys always getting tests dropped and shit. I'm like, dude, yeah, dude, dude, we I, don't get tests dropped. My, we go hard in the paint. Because our tests are harder as well. A lot of my I professors, like my math professor last year or last semester, he dropped two quizzes, three homeworks, and an exam. So I ended with like I didn't have an exam drop. I had some. I had. I used to have like quizzes yeah. dropped. I know a few people from OSU that came down to C State to do like uh, business calculus, business stats, and they say that's a lot easier. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure at Mary in the classes are like a lot easier. I'm considering taking accounting at what, C State. What's your biggest class? Like, wait, financial or uh, what's the other one? I don't know, just accounting. It's just called accounting. Well, there's multiple accounting. I know, but like, it's just. <laughs> Just called accounting. It's probably financial accounting. I'm in that. I'm right assuming so. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's fucking jerk. It's not course. hard. Yeah, I know, but I wish you the teachers are really hard. Probably. Yeah, I like, could see that. Really oh, they probably make you do all the shit by hand and whatnot. Yeah, a lot is is not a hand. Uh, C State. What is it through? C State. I mean, use like a basic calculator, but I mean, it's not. It's like overall accounting's not hard. Financial accounting, no, basic class. No. I took it. I took two sessions of it in high school. Statistics, I, I heard, is really hard. 
if you're not allowed to use calculator. But my teacher's like, yeah, you use calculator for everything. Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming I'd be able to for mine. I take it next semester, and I, I know I can't for that one. But there's two stats I got to take. So yeah. I'm taking math throughout mm-hmm. sophomore year, which kind of be How much math do you have to take? Four classes. For what major? What's your major? Math, uh, business, uh, finance. So what, you got to take college algebra, right? College algebra, business, calc, calc and then stats. Stats. And then, but that stats is, isn't even business stats, and then there's like a business course. You have to do two stats? That's some uh, bullshit. That's what I got to do too now. No way. Because yeah. I'm in business too. So. Yeah. That's crazy. The same. But yeah. they, they uh, some dude emailed me wanted me to be in the honors program for yeah. accounting. I, I think you should do that. So I'm going to do that. But yeah, I've know. heard about that. It's really, it's really hard to get into. So we'll see. I bet you could do it. I don't know. The I mean, it sounds like like. Um, are you are you majoring in accounting? Yeah. Oh, you are. That's dope. Yeah, you get like there's all sorts of connections and stuff, and then like it said, hundred percent of um, students who graduate get employed within three months, and the average salary was like sixty thousand so, dollars. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty solid if I can do that. But we'll yeah. see. I'm trying to get into Fisher Features. It's like uh, it's like they basically just help you find. It. Help you find a job, internships, and all that kind of stuff. Have you? But I'm going to Spain next next summer. What? Internship. Hey, hey, man, hey, you hey he's got the coronavirus. Yeah, yeah what? <laughs> a year from now, it should be fine. Yeah. Dude, Alexi's going to um Greece. Greece. What? Athens. That, that'd be pretty sweet. Bunch of different places. Mykonos. That's Athens. pretty dope. For what? Just for vacation. Just to go. Her friend. That friend. Yeah. Lexi from hey. she, she's Greek. And her family has like houses down there. Shout out for you. But I mean, I don't even know if they're gonna be able to go. They're going in May. And yeah, I was gonna go to Italy, but in May I can't go. Yeah, I, I, we just canceled it. So. Did you get the flights and then had to cancel? No, nah, we were about to. My dad, we've been, we've been planning it for like two years. Yeah, we we're all geeked about it, and then uh, my dad's like, "Yeah, but yeah, you don't want to go now." I think Italy's one of the worst spots. I was yeah, reading about it on is. Twitter. They like, so they were behind China. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know but, if she's gonna be able to go or not. I don't know if she's. Hey, gonna be able China to go. number one. <laughs> my chi- actually in China. My uh, my neighbors they live in China part time, and the first where they're from, and uh, they apparently weren't allowed to leave their apartment for two months. No Damn. way. They had a, 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 one person every three days can go get food. That's it. That's so. And that, but 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 now they just now they just announced that you can go walk around, but you have to have a mask on. That's huh. good. Probably means it's getting better. Yeah, they, we still need to cancel school though. So. <laughs> well, doesn't your dad? Like his business works with China a lot, doesn't he get a lot of stuff? Yeah, from he gets China? his cameras from China. So has anything like have they stopped any of that? I don't even. I don't want to talk to him about. It. I haven't been home in a while, yeah. so you know. But I'm, I mean, I'm assuming it's definitely not helping. Yeah, you know? I'm. I know, like Apple. I mean, they have to like they can't get any. They weren't able to get like their phones coming out in September. So obviously they need their materials from China. Yeah. Cause, so like they had to rely on like Vietnam and I think somewhere else. To Shit. for like for like all of their supplies, which is obviously you know that's why their stock went down quite a bit. That's and same with Tesla, American made man. That's yeah. right. No coronavirus here. I heard oh, uh, you know. minus seven hundred fifty nine cases yeah. or more of that. I heard from the source that uh, vape products from China are no longer. They're going like you know they're going to stop doing them because you know people buy the disposable ones. They you know do it and then throw it away. That's probably smart. That's coronavirus right there for you. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, they're fighting the vapors. That's good. Vaping's gay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ASMR. So, we made a vlog yesterday. Matthew, what'd you think? Oh, I don't call you Matthew. That's weird. Yeah, that's weird. To the back. <laughs> My bad, homie. Hey, give me Matt. a kiss. Oh. <laughs> I'll pass on that. Did one. you see the end of the vlog? Yeah, I did. Don't kiss, forget. Don't the kiss your homies good night. <laughs> I will say the editing on it, I was definitely caught off guard. I was I was impressed. You liked so it, I okay. Imp- I was impressed with the editing. So the theme was uh, Lexi Leaves Town. Yep. Beware of coronavirus. <laughs> yeah, footage. Yep. <laughs> footage. We had to take a trip to the airport. Which <laughs> Actual footage? Pretty crazy. Yeah, I, I know. Seen that. I said we should have done, like, close encounter with coronavirus. Yeah. Footage. <laughs> I probably would have done that, too. Next time, next time. Well, we had the girls on the screen. Now, we did have an alternative thumbnail that may have attracted more views, but we went against that because I think we're was, not view whores. Yeah, I think, so. it was, I think it was a smart decision for sure. How did you yeah. see it? Yeah. Yeah, I showed up. <laughs> I think for the first vlog, I think that was definitely a smart decision. But you liked it overall? The vlog, yeah, I did like it. You know, it was good. So, like, out of 10, like, what would you rate it? I'd give it, like, a 4. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <laughs> I'd give it, like, an 8. An 8? Yeah, hey, an eight. eight's pretty yeah. good. I will say, I feel like... You definitely could have edited some things out. Okay. And, and maybe cut the other things. I feel like, you know, sometimes it was just like conversations were just going on almost a little yeah. too long, you know? Yeah. And I was like, I was like, 
I thought I started skipping a little bit, you know. Okay. Like, yeah. Ah, I'm yeah, the 10 that. seconds. Yeah, ten second, little, it might have been a quadruple tap, but it's, now, just, it's hard to make those kind of videos because, like, to us and, like, people we know, it's, like, funny because, you know, we know it's you going know on. You know what's going on. But, like, but, like, people who are watching it, like. Yeah, like, you start saying something. You walk into Roosters and you're like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Like, this, this one. And I was like, I don't know who that Yeah, is, he's so. like, Tom, Tom Selleck. Uh, oh, Tom, yeah, yeah. It's a donkey wings. <laughs> watching it. Who the fuck is this Tom? <laughs> yeah, I was watching it. I was like, I don't know what that means. He's actually in a clip that I recorded the day, <laughs> but I don't know if that'll and, ever be shown. Uh, what's his fate? Cocus was saying the same thing about the podcast. Like, you guys share your stories. Yeah. And they're funny, but, like, some people watching it, they don't understand, you know, because yeah. they're like, here, here, move the mic up a little bit. But yeah, I, I get what you're saying, 100. <laughs> percent Is that better? Yeah. So for yeah. Like, I mean, for the vlog, I would just like cut some things out like that, but yeah. then like add in more stuff to where like interactive stuff yeah. to where. Like, so I think a good point would be like only discuss things that are on camera. So like if we're in this room, Matthew yeah. said he might like boys, yeah. and you're on camera, so people know. <laughs> yeah. But you can't be like you know Josh Curtin. Yeah. Also likes boys. But yeah. We can't say that because yeah, you, yeah. he's not there. And you might people because all the vloggers you watch, you don't see them saying anything about people that you don't know who they yeah. are, unless yeah. they've been in the vlogs enough to where the the viewers would know them. Yeah. Or yeah. they're like famous enough, like, 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 like oh, like Michael Jordan. Like, yeah. who, who's that? Like, yeah. Yeah. No one's gonna say Billy Siege. You know the best. Yeah. In the game. Yeah. No, no one's gonna be like, who's Billy Siege? Like everyone knows. And it has yeah. to be. It has to be captivating. Like we have to do interesting stuff. Like yeah. we can't be. You know, like I said, sitting in your. A house playing Apex and then going to Roosters. Every yeah, day. yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, it can't be the same. It well, that was just the same. wind down. Yeah, you know, that was the end. It, yeah. well, it, well, I like that. Though. I was like, okay, I fact the same playing Apex. You know, yeah. I'm not hopping on or anything, but I respect it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, maybe you guys are having Fortnite. We've been around, dude. We did Fortnite. Well, on Saturday, I need to get Gary's mod. I have. That's it. a fun game. I need to get Gary's mod. I've heard Tarkov is very Escape from Tarkov is like captivating for a lot of people. Really? We also need to hop back on Overwatch. Oh, I, oh, yeah. dude. So you have it. I'm gonna buy it, dude. It is so good. Dude. Okay, let go me tell buy. you. What is it on? Is it my on issue. It's on, on origin. origin. I thought it was Blizzard. Didn't change it. Probably. It might be probably Blizzard, top actually. ten. Probably top like top six favorite game of all time. Let dude. me tell you my issue though. So I get on. I'm like, you know, I'm the best in the game. I play my ranked matches, right? There's like placement matches to see where you are on the hierarchy of ranks. Yeah. You play like ten matches, see if you're good. It's like suck, better, good, best, yeah. something yeah. like that. I play my 10, I lose a couple because of my teammates. Now, every game I am dropping the most kills, the most damage. I'm getting, like, gold medals and shit. And then, boom, last game, I get in bronze. So, it's, like, 1,700 SR or something like that out of, like, 5,000. I was pissed because I'm not going to sit there and grind away when I already know I'm superior, you know. So, at that point, I'm just waiting for the next season to where I'll come back and show them what's hey, up. Yeah. What? Well, yeah, go ahead. No, you go ahead. No, you actually, no, you go. Go ahead. actually, that's fine. No, you go ahead. Uh, actually, I don't want to anymore. Okay, Listen, guys, guys, just kiss each other already, man. No, <laughs> no Overwatch is a fun game. Though. I really, I, it's a game I really want to get back into because, like, I mean, obviously Fortnite, so I have a good time playing Fortnite and all, but, like, it's like, I like to switch things up a little bit. You People know? love to try hard in Fortnite. That's the one bad thing about it. I like it. I like being sweaty. Yeah. Really? See, I've been playing. I know Billy doesn't like it, but uh, have you heard of the, the Division? I have not. It's a really fun game. It's... uh. It's like a free roam multiplayer, or not multiplayer, but like more co-op. It's got a lot of campaign, and it's just fun. Like, there's a lot of customization, and, and basically you're like these agents. Um, you got to fight these people called the hyenas, and it's just kind of like that was pretty dope. you're in D.C. It's fun, and it was only 3 bucks. It was like, it's a $60 game, but it was uh, discounted on Origin for like 3 bucks the other day, so I bought it. It's a discount on the half. And it was worth crap. it. The biggest issue with me though, with like campaign games, I'm more I don't like really playing. The, I feel like I don't know. I, I don't like playing the games on the computer that much. You know. Yeah. yeah. Like I feel like it's kind of obvious if someone's a computer or not. Like yeah. playing against bots on Fortnite, I'm like, okay, these guys suck. Yeah. It's not fun. Yeah. I'm definitely more of a multi, multi, multiplayer kind of guy. That's how I've always been. I never really liked uh, Skyrim because Skyrim yeah. was single player only. Yeah. You know. The only single player game I like <laughs> is GTA. That I really like is GTA. Oh, yeah. I play a little bit of that, but the multiplayer was always like more fun. That's what yeah, I mean, yeah, hundred <clears> percent. <throat> that's what I've never played eventually. <coughs> but being the campaign GTA was just like you just have to do it, you know. Yeah. It's, it's such it's such like a great game. Never experienced that. That's you never beat the campaign. I don't think I did. Wow, wow. I beat it like six times. Yeah, I beat I beat, I beat it. I beat it more than once. Did for you sure. ever play Red Dead Redemption Two? I, I did. I know it's just single player games, dude. I don't know. I just couldn't play well, it that much. Well, uh, there's online on G. On Red Dead, yeah. They add, but they added it late, though. Yeah, I guess. I yeah. also need to get more external storage for my Xbox. 
because I'm a lot of storage, so I need to get one of the one of the, I need to get one of those yeah. things. That's the issue with the uh, so I have the original PS4, which one when you turn it on, it sounds like it's preparing for takeoff. It sounds like it is a Boeing PS4 seven forty seven. Yeah, People were maybe. saying it's way better than the Xbox when it came out. I think it's worse. When it first though. came out, yes, but now the loading times are back to where PS3 was. Yeah. Like it takes fucking forever to open a party, yeah. you know. And then the storage is bad. I have three games, maybe four, I could play. If I want to play a new one, I have to delete an old one. You know what I mean? So when the new Call of Duty came out, I had to delete two games. So yeah, well, I do the same. I have to do the same thing. Yeah, but like, you can get like, one terabyte of Xboxes, which are nice. But like, I just feel like. Just a pain in the ass. Like, I don't want to do that. I just want to download my games and, f- and f and play them. You know, like yeah. Xbox 360. I just put them in the disc and boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Game over. Simple as that. Yeah. But I don't know. I feel like once the only thing PlayStation Three had over Xbox 360 was free online. Mm-hmm. Yes. And once they get rid of that, free. yeah. And once they get rid of that, it's like okay. Yeah. Because I'm like, oh wow, Xbox isn't making sixty dollars a year off of, off of each off of each person that's Xbox. Yeah. So that's obviously really good money, which is smart of it. I mean, smart of Xbox. But like, once PS3 got rid of that. Or PS4 got rid of that. I feel like that was just like, psh, all right. Yeah. Bill posed a uh, great question to me the other day. He's like, I don't know if it was in question format, but I took it as a question. He's like, why are we on PS4 anymore at all? You know what I mean? Because, like, we play mainly PC now. And I said the Did only I thing. Just you be, said something like that. I know. I agree. It's just not everyone can afford a PC. I said, well, I said the only. Well, I'm saying for, like, me and him. Oh. Uh, and the only thing I personally have on PS4 is Call of Duty. And if I'm not playing yeah. Call of Duty, then. PC all day, every day. It I seems did, like, yeah, you yeah, said, no, like, let's I, get rid of the PS4 or something. No, I agree. Call of Duty on, on a controller is definitely a lot better, you know? Well, see, now, the thing is, the only reason that I, I bought Call of Duty and stuff on my PS4 is because the controller, because I can't play Call of Duty. But well, you can use but controller I can plug on... my PS4 controller into my PC, and I didn't know yeah. that. So had I known that, I probably would have bought it on my PC because I get better, you know, FPS, quality everything. of the game. And then I could get rid of my PlayStation. And it is cross-platform. I, yeah, I can just play whatever you know, games I want uh, on my PlayStation. So I did, I did, uh, I actually tried to plug it in on keyboard and mouse to my Xbox. And that works also. And it was shit. It, just, there's just input cause, cause the, just the, Yeah, everything's just horrible about it, but like, people can do that. But what's actually crazy is the new Xbox coming out and PS and PS5, uh, they do run 120 FPS. They do. Meaning mm-hmm. that I definitely need to get an upgrade for my graphics card because yeah. there's no point in having a PC. Yeah. Are you not running 120? Well, on, on something like Fortnite, I'm running like, 140, 160. Okay. But, like, I'm trying to get up to, like, 240. Yeah, more is better, obviously. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm trying to get to, I was a two, if I get to 240, that'd be great. So, I'll probably get, like, a, probably get a 2070. I probably won't get the, will not get the super, though. That'd be great, but I doubt yeah. it. I don't know if I get the money for that. Yeah. Well, I, I was. Call Big Jeff, baby. Unless I'm making money this summer, which I could, so. Wait, did you work today? Uh, no, I did not. Oh, I thought you said you were going to no, work. No, I was going, yeah, I was about to, but then I, was, I fell asleep for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> so. Classic Beto. Dude, in the summer, it'd be like, yo, me and Beto, we're doing something today. And then you got to wait till like four for him to wake up. <laughs> that's, that's like freaking sick. Hey, man, Micro Center closes at five. What are we doing? I just woke up, man. Micro Center sounds fire right now. I know. Let's go. Dude. Oh, my God. I'll drive us. We're Dude, going to. I haven't been in a minute. Actually, no. I, I went actually when I broke my, when I broke my monitor. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't check out. I didn't, check, I didn't get to check out any of the PC yeah. stuff, though, dude. I was just looking for a monitor the whole time, which is actually nice. It's crazy how much my knowledge has gone up for, like, monitors and, like, mm-hmm. specs on monitors, you know? It's kind of cool because everyone's like, oh, what kind of monitor should I get? I'm like, oh, no. Gotcha. One millisecond, 144 hertz. I, I was, I, I saw one that was point one millisecond. I was like, okay, is there really a difference with that? I went up and asked the guy, and he goes, he goes, no, he goes, you won't notice a difference at hey, all. Hey, tell that guy he suck a dick. Okay, that's the same because... thing with, with with other parts. Like we were looking at like fans and stuff like that, and like the guy was talking to us at Micro Center. He's like, I think it was a CPU cooler. He's like, you're getting the same performance. You know, if you buy this fan, but you're paying an extra, you know, thirty dollars for the lights. Yeah. And that's something you think about. Like, do you need the lights for an extra thirty dollars? Dude, dude, you can put in your own LED lights. Yeah. Inside there. Yeah. That's what I'm start doing. I'm I'm putting LED lights all around like the outlining of my PC. Yeah. Just like, put it in there because like, why not? And the thing about the case my little brother got is it has LEDs in the top. All around. Yeah. That's dope. dope. And it wasn't yeah. even that much. It's it's sixty bucks online yeah. on Amazon. So that's like, stupid. That's ridiculous. Yeah. And it's it's pretty sweet. It was. I thought it was really simple. Dude, it looked it looked like it was like two hundred dollar case. Yeah. No. Yeah. It was only. It's an all glass it for side. dollars. Yeah. yeah, I got the all glass side of mine, but I, I like the white better than the black for sure. Yeah. The white. And, and I like it, I like the uh, the square shape of it. Like mine, it's like kind of like 
round. Yeah. Jeremy Moss actually has a pretty sweet case on his, too. Oh, he has a PC? Yeah, it's black, but his is actually pretty sweet, you know. Yeah. I, I don't know what he's running. I don't know. I think it's a 1060, too. That's what I got. I mean, That's I, what I, I got. Well, I mean, when I had 1060, when I bought that, that was like a couple months before the 20s came out, and I was like, 1060 is like, you know, was pretty good at the time, you know. Yeah. And then, do you remember? It, also, the prices were super inflated at the time because oh, of, they were. of Bitcoin mining. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I got my, it was up like, like $100. And my dad's like, like, well, I don't want to drop seventeen hundred. I'd rather drop fourteen hundred. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. I remember we, we built uh, Trevor Morris's PC. I'm sorry, you know he's not here, so we can't reference him. So you might not know who he we is. We built but someone else's PC. Yeah, he's a, he's a pro Paladins player. Now you yeah. might not know what that game is. I really don't either. It's off brand. It's the off brand Overwatch. Yeah, like Smite. No, it's like League of Legends. No, I played it. It's the off brand Overwatch. Is it? Yeah. Oh man, yeah. I'm just stupid. Yeah, it's actually pretty fun, but it's just the graphics are just horrible. Yeah. Like, you know, like, that's a good game. It really is, but the guy, you can definitely tell it's like an off-brand. Yeah. But he also, also won, like, the, what, the World Championship? Yeah. Oh, he's fucking amazing. Did he get a lot of money for it? Yeah, he, he was on, like, salary and shit. They get, like, for league matches, they get money, I think. But he'd be good to have on the podcast and talk about it. But mm -hmm. um, we built his PC. He got a, I think, 1080, and then the best Ryzen at the time. We fried he had the best everything. Yeah, we fr he had a beast machine. Yeah, Spent over two thousand dollars. Yeah, stupid. We fried the graphics card <laughs> when we built it. I don't know if you ever yeah. knew that. Uh -uh. We fired that shit up because we plugged something like something wrong in the motherboard. Because like it gets, it, it's hard down there. It's dark. They're small. I got big hands. <laughs> I don't know if it was me personally. It somehow the graphics card got fried. He went to Micro Center. They gave him a free upgrade to a 2080. He just had to pay the difference. Like, you know, so like if the 1080 yeah. was like 100, 2080 was 150, he just had to pay the 50. 50. So no additional cost other than the difference, which is a fucking great deal, you know, because some time course. did pass. I guess, but at that point, you know, why wouldn't you just, you know, if he's going to spend that extra $50, why wouldn't he just get the one in the first place, you know what I mean? I think at the time it didn't come out. Or yeah, something. it didn't come like, out. Like we, we might have like shorted it. We went like so it would never. We went like a week before it oh, came okay. out. Yeah. yeah. See now what I did with my graphics card is I think it was like ten bucks for a two year warranty on it. Yeah. So if it breaks, no, he did. He, that's to what it. he had. Oh, uh, okay. I think. Yeah. So like if anything happens to it, and I think I only got it on my graphics. Yeah, card. Yeah, you should only do it on crucial parts. The only thing I was worried about, and I'll replace it for free. I mean, the graphics cards, it's the most expensive part you can get. You yeah. Know? I mean, like dropping five hundred bucks. Yeah. And it's that like mock up, I just built the mock up PC. It was twelve fifty seven minus give or take like forty bucks because there's some at Micro Center you get deals depending on what you pay yeah. up. Yeah. So like twelve hundred bucks for a new PC that'll run any game that's fucking amazing. Yeah. You know? Well, it's yeah. crazy. Is Libby's computer for school it has like ten fifty in there? Like a great. Yeah. Egg. It's like it's like. What I mean, the, obviously uh, it's pretty expensive. Is it a Micro? It's, it's, it's a Surface. Oh shit. Yeah, really? Surface Pro, dude. I didn't think it'd be that nice, but dude, she can run Fortnite on there, probably 100 FPS. So well, that's yeah. not bad so for thing, that's not bad for a laptop. Yeah, it's not even a gaming laptop. It's literally just she had to get all those parts for it because of what she's doing in school, you know, the medical stuff. The one that flips out, right? Yeah, she'd get it, parts it, for it. Not parts, but like I'm saying, I should, I should have that kind of specs for it, you know? Oh yeah. yeah because yeah. like, and then it turns into like a, a, a like a like a like, like a tablet. iPad tablet. Yeah, or something. It's, it's pretty yeah. sweet. It's really that's, nice. That's what Steven got because he's in engineering. So yeah, you have to have that. See, that's the way to do it. So a lot of people will spend money on like Apple computers when you can spend so Apple computer might be two thousand dollars. Apple computers. This this laptop I got it for nine ninety nine. It I think it was originally like twelve fifty. I was there when you I was I was there when you were looking at it. Yeah. And so I got it for two fifty off and it has a full size ten sixty six gigabyte. That's and this has a better processor than my desktop. So this is in theory better than my desktop. Yeah. And it was less money. It'll be less than any Apple computer you have. Yeah. But you have to think about People just pay for the software and the name brand. Yeah. That's the difference. Yeah. The well, for, old, for older people, like, if you're, uh, you know. It's easier to uh, use. Yeah, exactly. But, like, I like, now that I've been using Windows, dude, like, I don't even touch my Mac anymore. Yeah. My Mac's also super old, but, like, I don't even touch it. The one thing's nice about Macs is, like, compatibility. So, like, yeah. my AirPods, we try to hook them up here and we have You have to get, like, some Bluetooth thing for it, right, probably? It, no. So, I have Bluetooth on here, but I did get a Bluetooth adapter for my desktop. But, like, when there's no sound on... The AirPods, they'll, like, die. Not die, but they'll turn off. It's kind of, it's weird how it works. It is, yeah, it is kind of weird. Well, I know for, like, for my, my PC, I just, I'm playing Fortnite, and I'll open up my iTunes, put some music on in the background, yeah. you know? Like, I mean, you yeah. still have a lot of stuff with yeah. it, you know? And, like, I just feel like in general, Windows is just better, because you can just do so many things that, like, you can't do on yeah. Apple that they restrict on and, Apple. And, like, especially at Ohio State, 
they use Word, PowerPoint, Microsoft. Oh, yeah. They oh, give you Microsoft Excel. Office. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Dave. Dave and my roommate, he uh, we had to use Excel for uh, access for CSC, right, my CSC class. And I did that. Like, it took me, like, 20 minutes to, like, get it to work. He used to, like, go, he used to go through, like, some, like, VPN and, like, open it through the VPN. And then, Wait, like, why? Yeah, it's, like, Apple just won't let them use yeah, it. Like, just really, them use yeah, because I do all my homework on my PC because – Microsoft obviously runs their programs better. Yeah. So it's nice to have. When it's I, went I never seen anything like it before. It was ridiculous, though. Do you go, like, through, like, are you on Fisher campus or are you in the other buildings? Uh, I don't even really go to Fisher yet. I'm going to Fisher okay. more so next so year. So when I was on the tour of Fisher, we were down in, like, the tunnels, you know, where all, like, the computer labs are. I haven't even you been know? there. Okay. I've, I've been in Fisher because I had a class there last semester. But, yeah. like, I haven't been in, like, Fisher, Fisher. And I think the guide said that, like, People prefer if you get a Ma- uh, Microsoft computer. Yeah, that's what they say uh, to everyone. Like they're like in my, C- in my CC class are like, uh, we prefer you not to have an Apple computer. But like, I mean, it's okay if you do. Yeah. But like, hey, it's okay. So but now, you're just good. Are they, talk- <laughs> are they talking about like laptop or like? Computer, I, I, I you know think just I mean? like whatever you're doing, like to do m- your the majority yeah, of your work. Because obviously, yeah. most of like our class and the classes coming after us are going to use iPads to take notes and stuff. I know it's kind of I know, that's why that's why it's kind of weird. That, yeah, like, it's kind of kind why of would they get, you know. I will you say know, I don't know. Apple's always been known even when they first came out for working really well with schools. So Apple, you know, a, a Mac 10 years ago cost if it cost $1000 they would give to the school for five hundred, yeah, and that's a, why yeah. every school had the laptop carts of yeah. Macs. Oh, no. There should be there should be some sort of like thing or setting you can get to the app, um, like your Apple software, where like you can go like college mode and just do whatever the fuck you yeah. want to do on it instead well, of like be so restricted of everything. So there's a way to do that. It's like uh, yeah, I know it might you, be dual booting. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can have, do Windows with, with on a Mac. Yeah, like I could do Mac cool. on the Windows. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then, you know, I know that you know we have all those restrictions on the iPad, which kind of sucks. So can but you they like do, load they, up Pornhub on that? Like just I don't know. for science. I think there's something that alerts some sort of software. Oh, so they're gonna be you watching do, your ass. That's kind of weird. I don't know. <laughs> but like I know that they do let go after you graduate. Yeah. Obviously. Okay. It's, and you keep the iPad. It's, yeah, it's yeah. Free. Yeah. Okay, it's free. Free. For a twenty-five well, years. <laughs> I was I was talking to my advisor when I was like looking into going to Marion, and he said that it's free because it was all money out of a grant. Oh. So like it's it's it, it wasn't money used by us paying tuition. Mm. It's money from a grant, but like I mean, still you're paying you know twenty five thousand dollars a year, so it's not free. But he said that, yeah, like they didn't use. It's not money. additional cost. Yeah, which kind of nice. Which is, I, yeah. Remember like for example, like what the how they monitor it. Like I had to update my iPad, and I hadn't updated it in a while, and they changed my lock screen, saying to update my iPad. Really? Like they were able to change it, and they said it, it won't. They said they said this lock screen will go away after 24 hours. Wait, they updated. changed your lock lock screen? Yeah, Repeat like, that. So my lock screen was like a picture. It was like a, just like a high state blocker mm-hmm. thing with the normal one they give you. And then I hadn't updated my lap my iPad because I'm always so lazy about updating. Mm-hmm. And then uh, then one day morning I got my iPad and it's like my lock screen says like. Oh, well, you need to update your iPad, and it's like it's like a, it's like a oh. screenshot of like a note saying I need to update my iPad. Jesus. Yeah, that might be because um, their like their monitoring software yeah. fit updates. Exa- yeah, yeah, that's why. I mean, I was like, ah, uh, I'm too, I'm good. Yeah. So I haven't updated it yet, but it's just kind of weird that they can do that though. You yeah. know, down to my iPad, like, well, it's not my iPad, but yeah. like, it is my iPad. I don't even know. So. Can you do whatever you want? Like, do you, does Dave no. watch porn on the iPad? <laughs> That's what I want to know. These are the real questions we could ask. I highly doubt it just because that'd be kind of weird. Mm-hmm. That's why you got to bring your own iPad. Just watch it on my laptop. Okay. It's the only thing I use my Mac for. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, it's no. the most HD you're over. No, the only thing I use, I use my Mac if I'm laying in bed and I'm watching YouTube or like if I want to lay in bed and like write a paper because Word works perfectly yeah. fine on, yeah. the, on the thing and I can load up Carmen and whatever. What's so Carmen? That's, it's just like, it's like it's called you canvas. Guys, or you something. guys have something like that. It's like it's like Blackboard yeah. for Ohio oh, State. Okay, yeah, yeah. So all my grades and assignments are in there. So I usually just I'll quizzes lay in bed stuff like that. Yeah, if I'm doing anything, I'll just do it on my Mac. But like, I have those. You know, you have like, you have my finance lab, my accounting lab. You yeah, know yeah, my stat lab, my math. I have lab. my econ lab, and I do that on my. Do you really? PC. I don't even have that. That's weird. Yeah, for my for, yeah for my economic class and like. I'll pull up my notes on one monitor. From what I understand, that's all new for us. Like, we just got it this year. Yeah. 
It's pretty nice. So they, they might be. Everyone might be getting. I don't have anything though. for that. Uh, for my econ, I just. Is it, your homework paper or is it online? I don't have homework for my econ class. At like any home, like math. Well, do you guys do oh, for math? Yeah, I did have my, my, I had my math lab last semester. This semester, yeah. my homework's all on paper. And then, uh, and then, uh, I don't. I really don't have that much homework. I just have like quizzes, pretty much. And I guess my I, I, have, I have homework for. Uh, my uh, human nutrition is like McGraw Hill, though. It's like some bug online, yeah. and I just do it mm-hmm. through that. Do you guys do problem sets in econ? Is that what you have? Or? Dude, our, our, our econ class is it's very easy. Like it's, I, I got a good professor. That's yeah. why. Well, see, last semester, the, the teacher that I had, he did these problem sets, and we did them in, in high school accounting, or not accounting, econ. And it's like, you know, 30 questions and you get a group of people together in class and like they were hard like lexi was in it last year and, oh you know, that, that's struggled. like a handicap on your team she struggled with it because like they were super hard and i guess almost every student like you know the the scis at the end of the the evaluations yeah, all good and crap they for said it. they hated it. he like we hated it so he moved to my econ lab and it's we have nine assignments and they're all online and they're due like every two weeks and it's yeah, I get a hundred percent on every single one of them because yeah. we get two attempts at each question. Yeah, and you know I have my notes with me, so it's just a lot easier. Yeah. For almost all the homework, I get unlimited. Time. But I feel like that's better there anyway. I feel like you're learning more yeah. doing that anyways, more so than sure. like making it hard on yourself. I think the yeah. online is much more interactive because the paper. That's when you cheat. You know, yeah. you call your boys, but yeah. hey, well, here with well the paper. even for my human nutrition class, like the book, like the book is interactive itself. Like it, it highlights my teacher highlight. Like she like put in like what like what stuff she's gonna teach in class. So like it'll like it'll like blur out everything that you don't need to know and highlight and yellow everything you do need to know. Then after you answer the questions before it, it'll say like it'll like it'll be unhighlighted if you know it. It'll be like green highlighted if you need it if you need to look over it more. So like I'll be like oh I didn't understand this okay I'll, I can tell because it's green highlighted. Like re- read over that again, you know. So, so it like it like knows when I master information or if I don't master information, which is kind of cool. Hmm. Even though I never really use it that much, but some people probably do. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't that much. Hey, big smart guy over here. And that well, goes with the thing that they're canceling all the classes, but like most of my teachers, they teach out of the book. Yeah. So it's not hard, you know. You're talking to Mike, talking to Mike. I'm chewing, so I didn't want to. Oh, the chew. But like, hey, I that's could, where the issue's coming. I could never go to class and just read the books and I would be fine, you know, which it, it yeah. sucks because some of my professors take attendance, which really sucks. Yeah, that's ass. Me. Cause I have to go to class, so yeah, whatever. Do you have any eight a.m.s? I still don't go. No, I have a nine thirty. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday I have one at nine thirty, and then I have math from six fifteen to seven fifty. Oh, and at night, Monday went Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Yeah, that's kind of ass. Cause you know we'll be playing Apex five o'clock. You know, Bill's like, oh, I gotta go to class. I'm like, oh. That sucks. But it's nice because then I don't have class on Friday. Yeah, that is nice. So it was either it was either Monday through Wednesday or it was like Monday, Tuesday, and Friday or yeah. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Definitely cool. a better option. It's funny because Lexi's like bored sometimes, so she'll just be on the couch all day. She'll like FaceTime me and I'll be like, yo, Billy, Billy's in class. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Definitely wouldn't prefer don't be, that. Don't be touching that. Oh, I'm sorry. It's mad loud. It says noise free. Where does it say that? On the cord. Look at your cord. It says noise free. No, it does not. Oh, it does say noise free. I don't know what that's. You need a refund, dude. What the fuck? Oh, that's if you touch the cord. Some cords are, yeah, I don't know. It's technical stuff. I'll tell you what's interesting, though. The microphone game, mic talk. There, I, I like looking at microphones online, you know, new really? stuff to get. You're looking yeah. at microphones? Yeah, because I, so I have these Astro A50s. <clears throat> you mean well, no, no, no. It's it's a long story. So five years old Astros, they are a little spotty because they're wireless headsets. So when you plug them in, you know, yeah, they have to charge up, but it doesn't always charge the right way. It might be loose. I I don't know the specifics, but I might need to get a new means for my home setup. I might get an Astro A40 TR headset, which is what he just got. I got HyperX. Or, you know, go to the HyperX. Shop. I like HyperX a lot. I did buy HyperX Cloud 2s, and I returned them a long time ago. That was during the Garter Bowl. Why is that? I wore them at the Garter Bowl, returned them. Uh, why is that? Because uh, uh, they were a little tight on my head. Oh, really? My HyperXs are, like, crazy comfortable. I'll use, like, my Xbox, like, my, like my 
Xbox brand headphones for my Xbox and stuff. My ears be hurting after. These are my HyperX. I can wear those things all day. I mean, I'm that's cool good. But the them. thing about the Astros is they have a mix amp that has connectivity. So I can connect to the computer, to the Xbox, to the everything. Oh, that is pretty dope. At the same time. Or I could get a mini version of, like, the mixer we use over here. And it'll have an XLR input, which is the microphone. It'll have headphone jacks, and it'll have a optical in, which is what the PS4 and Xbox use for audio. If that's nice. I just don't use that like that. So for me, I just yeah. plug into my PC. Are you go. crying? No, I'm not yawning. My eyes get watery. Uh, he's crying. Has that ever happened to you guys? You yawn, your eyes get watery. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh, are you crying? I'm like, no, nah, I'm just tired. Hey, what are the who's crying right now? Colin. Nilo Khan. He's, he's down in Cancun. He Snapchat me a, just a picture of his dad today. I, I know. Like, what's his oh what's his name? Nilo Khan's I forget dad. his name too. He's the nicest guy ever. Though. He is, he's so cool. Is it Jeff 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 Jim? Yes, Jim King. I think so. He's a beast. You know him? Who? Jim King. No. He's a beast. Nilo Khan's Oh, dad. Colin's dad? Yeah. I think I met him before. Cancun. Nylocon's down there crying. What is he, the first episode? Second episode? Yeah, second, second episode? He's the third. Third? Yeah, Billy's second. Swick's first. Swick is first. <clears throat> Always uh, wondering who I'm going to get back for episode 100. You two are obviously, you know, top of the list. What episode Swick. is this? Episode 68. 69's next, so might bring some females in here. Who knows? It's okay. How suiting? Huh? How suiting? Suiting. Yeah. What do you mean? All right. Oh, how suiting. Oh, yeah. oh, duh. So now we're going to switch the uh, uh, podcast into ASMR. <laughs> Dude, ASMR is great when you go to sleep, though. You were hating on it earlier. I tried it one time. Like, some people are way too weird with it. Like, I don't like the Twitch live streams. People will sit in these rooms and watch. But, like, when you're going to sleep, it's cool to try it once or twice. I go on YouTube and notice, like, I have a couple of people I subscribe to. And I'll be like, I'm a little, I'm like, I'm kind of, I'm kind of wide awake. I'm like, oh, sorry. Wow. Like, apparently I watched ASMR earlier or something, but I'm like, I'm like, I'm like oh, I'm kind of awake. I need to get a little tired, you know, put me, you know, get a little sleepy. I'll look up some ASMR, watch some ASMR, you know, that, you know, and it just yeah knocks me out. Hmm. It's interesting. Some people hate it. Some people like it. You know, some people get the tingles from it. I don't really get, I don't want to get the tingles from it or anything like that. It just like, kind of like, it just really like calms me down. Papa Chubb. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like ASMR? I mean, I don't hate it. I know I don't, you don't like noise in your sleep because... I don't dislike it. I love noise in my sleep. I can fall asleep to like the fan on. I, yeah, you know. I mean, I don't like noise in my sleep. Because you said Lexi grinding her teeth. Oh, yeah, you she up. grinds her teeth. It's terrible. But I, I, I have my TV on when I sleep. Yeah, I fall asleep with TV on. I do that all the time. Uh, I used to just fall asleep with YouTube on. Yeah. You know? Wait, if you fall asleep with YouTube on, does that mean it's playing throughout the dorm? I went in my house about oh, okay. about in high school. And what's what's it like at the dorm? Do you all go to bed at the same time? Uh, well, our fourth roommate, he uh, we don't really talk to him. He's a new roommate. Our other one moved out because he wouldn't go back home because he missed his family and stuff. Wait, that's he drop out. Yeah, how that work? He didn't necessarily drop out. He just transferred back home. Uh, Wait, what? <laughs> Where's he? What? Where did he live? New Jersey. Oh shit. Oh, so he transferred to a different school. Yeah, back home. Mm. And then okay. uh, so he left. So you got a new guy. So we got a new guy. That's yeah. ass. Yeah, it kind of, we didn't think we were getting a new roommate, but Is he we cute? Uh, <laughs> it's, it's hard if someone thinks so. But uh, he's a uh, he's cool kid. He's, he's just kind of his own thing, has his own friends. He's from Westerville. Hmm. But uh, so but he, he kind of goes to sleep on his own time. But my roommate Gavin from Texas and my roommate David, uh, Reinhardt, they, uh, we, we usually like be watching TV in the living room and be like, all right, let's go to sleep. Oh, oh, I'm, oh, I'm going to sleep. Like, oh, yes. Yeah, everyone gives each other a kiss good night, and then you go tuck each other nah, in. Nah, nah. But I also have a fan right next to my bed blowing on me just because like, I kind of like falling asleep. Yeah, to you the like sound. blowing them in your face. I like, yeah. I like falling asleep to the sound, <laughs> to the sound of my of the, of the fan right next to my right next to me. You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Bill, you on your phone, bro? Really, man? Bill yeah, podcast. sorry. Dang, Bill. Tell tell the podcast about the guy we met the other day. That's when. <laughs> What about him? We pull up, and I forget how it all got started, but he starts talking in this accent. Colin King has requested to follow you on Instagram. He's just requesting to follow you? He's I think it's a new a podcast. It's a new, it's a new account. No way. He made a old new account, one. Old account got hacked. No way. But he started talking in this accent, and what he say? Like He's like, I, I am from Ireland. And yeah. and then he's like born and raised, and then he switched to another one. Yeah, and he's like I am from. Well, 
well, no, you asked him um, if he went to school, and he was like, yeah. You asked where he went to high school. He said Liberty, and then he was like, yeah, uh, I'm in school, but I'm not because he was like, I'm in um, – like an acting program in LA, but it's online. So then he started talking. He was like a British accent, Irish, Scottish, Russian, sweet. German, and it was pretty cool. The first one he did, him. though, Billy said to me, he's like, I thought he was serious, and I really thought he was too. Like, yeah. it sounded like he was. Then he started switching it up. Yeah. So. It's pretty cool. But interesting dude at Swenson's. Swenson's was amazing, by the way. Rupert Milkshake. Yeah, I haven't been there in a while. I don't few, like it that much. A few no. times ago, they fucked up my milkshake. No one believed me, but it was true. I think the butter, like, like, like the uh, what's the go-to sandwich we got there? The galley boy. I think like the fact that it's like it's like, kind of like a butter butter bun, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like I think that I think the bun on that is just fantastic. Culver's man, butter burgers. Never been. I've never been to Culver's either. They I've they, they, they have the same buns really? like that. They're and their their burgers are delicious. steak and shake. They actually have like the butter the butter Wisconsin burger. Mm. It's pretty good. Chicken fingers. The, um, actually, the guy told us at Swenson's they changed their fries, so there's more seasoning on them. I didn't really notice. So they were kind of bland. They were yeah, really bland because they don't put salt on them, and apparently there's no seasoning. But I guess he put them put more seasoning. On them. That's probably smart. I think that's definitely a good idea. Yeah. yeah but news just came in: Miami and Wright State have also canceled. I have, no I have, I have online classes because of coronavirus. Cool. We're getting closer. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if Columbus State's going to do they it. They need to fucking can We have a bigger issue. I mean, look at the demographics. The yours is right next to uh, Ohio State. I don't I know, know why you guys wouldn't if we do. It's in the city, too. Well, I, I think know. there's no dorms on Columbus State. That's true. But people are walking around. Oh, my God. People walking around, touching all these fucking doors. I, I guess. The dorms are open, though, right? Yeah, they're all, it's whatever you want to do. That's, so, a, that's weird. Like, yeah. I'm staying at home. My roommate in Texas might be staying home. Yeah. So. Well, it's kind of like anti-vax. People that don't want to anti-vax, you know, you're not going to vaccinate your kids, but you're still going to take the risk. That's like people that yeah. don't believe in the coronavirus can go back to your dorm, but you still might die. Well, yeah, but why would they keep the dorms? I guess for that example. Just in yeah. case some people, you know. Well, you got to think, if you keep it open now, right, and the, the virus can stay on things for like three days. So if you like touch your hand, it'll stay there for three days alive. In twenty days, it's going to be dead, so they don't really care. No, what I'm saying Boom. is, if they're so, if they're concerned about the coronavirus and people being so close, you know, at a, on a college campus, dorms are probably the closest you're going to get with someone. You know, I yeah. don't think you can. Yeah, why can't? Think, well, why can't the classes, but not dorms? Yeah, I don't you think know, you can just cancel living. dorms. People live there. You can close them though. Well, no, because like what? I it, guess if they were to close, but them, we're all on spring break though, so this is the best time to do but it. But what I'm saying is like, home. okay, let's say there's a kid that doesn't have the means to go anywhere so he's stuck at his dorm for spring break what's he gonna do leave find a friend i guess if they were gonna... i see you're saying though I do yeah see what you're like saying. It, not everyone's situation is it's like the same yeah. if, if they were gonna close dorms then i feel like they would have to it okay classes are done for the rest of the semester because then at the end the of the semester in, do, pass in the, everybody? In the, yeah, that's a problem. in the summer dorms close so you yeah. can't live there so they would just Either end the semester or make everything online, you know, because you can, you know, like your roommate lives in Texas, he can do his homework and stuff. Yeah, from there. So I don't know. I just feel like it's a very controversial issue. I feel like a lot of people think that uh, OSU kind of uh, overdid it by canceling classes like that. Better safe than sorry, I'd say. I, I, wait, I don't disagree. Yeah, did you, know, you hear when it snowed, a Dublin City Schools bus slid off the road with kids in it? Wow, and then they canceled school. And they didn't cancel school. Oh my! I I tweeted him. Or no, I posted it on my story. I'm like at Todd Hoadley. <laughs> well, the, the thing about Todd Hoadley, he's a good guy. Good oh yeah, he's a great know. dude. I shook his hand a couple times. He gave me a fucking rose. I was a uh, you know like student of the year or something. But got a medal. What, what, what I heard. I did. What I heard was that the reason he doesn't do two hour delays is because if we do two hours, if we go in two hours late, we don't get the funding for school that day. You know what I mean? Like, you have to be there for a certain amount of time to get the funding for that Fuck day. Fuck funding. Dublin so, City School, son. But I'm just, and then, if he, so he either cancels school or he doesn't. So then it's just gauging, okay, well, is it worth it to cancel and lose all the money or go to school and kill people? Sounds like he's a money whore. Well, that is the thing, though. I'm not saying he's a money whore. Todd Hoadley sure is a great guy. People in charge of Dublin are money whores. That's a fact. I, that's through just, other businesses. That's just, that's just everywhere. You know, that's a... I don't know. I don't know if it is, but I know for a fact Dublin is because other instances where I dealt with the city or people I know dealt with the city, they've always been money whores in every aspect. And why do we spend all that money on a bridge? 
That oh, that bridge is the biggest waste of People fucking money there's out. ever been. It's for mo- didn't the- we build a bridge for squirrels or something like that? <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking I'm about? It was like real small. I wouldn't be surprised. There's a bridge to the left. You know, you can go down to Emerald Parkway, Dublin Road, and walk across that bridge, go right, and you're at Bridge Park. Or you can go down to, was it High Street? Or Brand Road? One of the two. You just not cross the fucking bridge. Bridge okay? Street. You don't bridge, need to go across bridge there. Bridge Street and High Street. High, high, Bry High. Bry. Is that, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is that why it's called that? <laughs> what? No. Is that called that? Yeah, it's called Bry High because it's Bridge Street and High Street. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, that's, that, that just makes sense. Yeah. So, you know, and you could walk down that bridge, you know? Yeah. So why do we need a bridge? That mm-hmm. one looks like a vagina. If you've ever seen yeah. it, it's got that big, you know. I think it looks like a needle. That too. Looks stupid. I don't know. People are lazy. You can't drive their cars over to the parking lot. I mean, it's cool. This one, this one attracts attract people to live yeah. in those apartments because they're overbuilding their apartments. I down think there. Bridge Park's sweet. I do, I do too. But I actually went to a new restaurant down there. That I, well, it's been, for, it's been since June, but I, I've been here. It's called like uh, Rebel or Rebel. Or Rebel like that. yeah. Hannah. That's where I met Julia. Really? Shout out to Julia. It's pretty good. It's, it's Didn't pretty. They shut down. It's pretty. No, it's pretty good. You sure. Yeah. They just there, they just I, closed I was, off their patio. I was there today. One restaurant shut down. Yeah. Oh, and, it's Libby's uh, favorite with the burgers. It on was Wednesday. the one. It was the one that that, that replaced Brazen Head. It brazen, no, is no, it, no, I'm talking no. about Urban well, Brazen Head. Did shut down. Did really? No. Oh, I know what you're talking Urban about. Myers. What is that? Ram, 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 Ram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ter- Ram fucking sucked. Dude, right? no, no, no. The I, service was terrible. I, I've been there and it was really good. And then uh, the last couple, I was there a couple months before it closed, and it was the worst service of all time. Yeah, the service yeah. was terrible. Heather was having a fit. Did Brazen had really close. There's yeah. no way. From yeah, Brazen. It was health inspectors. I know the people that are going in there. It's going to be, well, I'm not going to say it here. And from what I've heard, that's terrible. I love Brazen Head. Urban Myers is pretty good. Oh yeah, they do a lot in sales. But, yeah. Obviously, it's, you know, it's the fact that it's just Urban Meyer. No yeah, disrespect you know. to Urban Meyer. You know, a few times I valeted for him. No tip. You know, a few other guys valeted for him. No tip. Did Dewine? Tip? I heard the same. Who? I heard Mike, Mike DeWine, DeWine didn't. Or no, no, no. Gene Smith. I heard he didn't tip either. Who's Gene Smith? DeWine definitely did. No, we, 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 no, we didn't valet him. He had someone drop him off. Uh, he had what his a own. Beast. Yeah. Gene Smith wasn't he an old football coach for Ohio State? No, he was. The old, he's, he's athletic. He's athletic director. I, I heard he uh, didn't tip either. No way. So you know, it's just Ohio State vibe. Yeah. That's crazy. Hey, they they touch the players and shit over there at the medical unit. And it's whatever. Listen, that whole thing, you That's know, I, Urban Meyer was not in the wrong. You know. Oh no! With, no! No! With, no! Uh, no! What's no, his no, face? No. I don't even remember his Zach name. Smith. Zach Smith, yeah. yeah. I don't think Irvin Meyer was in the wrong, you know. It's not his obligation to do anything in that yeah. situation. You know. Let me tell you something that has phased Dublin forever and will never be forgotten by me. B dubs has been on a steady downhill for years, okay? So bad, dude. Picture this, picture this. Close your eyes, picture this. The year is twenty thirteen. Your eyes aren't closed. <laughs> the year is twenty thirteen. Oh wait, no no no. It'd be the year is twenty fourteen, we'll call it. You just got done with the football game. You destroyed your opponent 32 to 0. The squad's going to be dubs. The girls are going to be there. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be live. You're going outside. You're sitting on the patio. Uh, yeah. You're getting a root beer, right? What do you order? Mini corn dogs, you know? Oh my gosh, that was totally me. And they fucking got rid of them. No, they did not. Yeah, I go in I go in uh 2 days ago. I'm like, "Hey, uh, in the menu, do you guys don't have many, many corn dogs anymore? They're like, no. And I'm like, well, why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> the mini corn dogs might be one of my all-time favorite, just like meals. Yeah. Oh, they're fantastic. Now I'm gonna tell you, Roosters is one million times better. The food, the girls, and the atmosphere. You know what, B-dubs, but you know what I think B Dubs wins though. Then Roosters is just the sauces that B Dubs are always gonna be better. Oh, than fuck Roosters. the sauce. I don't uh, grilled chicken. Don't even get sauce. Don't well, eat it. No, no. Why no. do you get why? Grilled chicken? See, Why do you go to Wings Places? Chicken. No, I mean, I can get chicken fingers with barbecue. It's great. They got donkey at Roosters for the hot people. B-dubs sucks. Put that on Roosters is everything. just like... Better. It's a different It's a different thing. Like It's a different... It's just everything about this. Roosters is, different. is hit and miss. Agreed. Sometimes I'll go in, my wings are super dry. Not a lot of sauce on them. I'll go in hmm. another time, my wings are super B-dubs wet. B-dubs is the same though, too. Yeah. I don't know. I, like, I think Quaker's... It's just the best. I've never been. Quaker Steak and Lube. What's today? Tuesday. <gasps> is it tonight the wing night or is it tomorrow? Are you, or is it yesterday? I, I don't know. Bill C definitely knows though. But 
what I was going to say is that is the, probably one of the smartest franchising moves that Roosters could have made is what? Moving, moving into that restaurant on Sunday. Oh, yeah. Bill Every C Tuesday. said it like five years ago. Dude, it's wing night tonight. Dude, should we go? I might have to. For the vlog. Let's go. 15 bucks. Fuck. Hey, let me I tell you something. Let me th- <laughs> hey, thank God Beetle got his wallet the <laughs> first time in fucking years. <laughs> but let me tell you something. Bill Strong went on Weight Watchers for like two days. I'm still doing it. I never hear about it anymore. What's there to hear? I'm Weight Watchers? What? Yeah, yeah, how does points. that work? So how, does, how does Weight Watchers work? Um, so they, 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 they changed it. So everyone knows, you know, Jenny Craig, Weight Watchers, it used to be they give you the food. They send you all that gross food, you know? Yeah. Sure. And you're supposed to eat it, you know, however many times a day. What they did now is you go on, you log in, you say your weight, height, age, you know. Gender, male or and, female. And what you want to do. So, like, me... I don't want to lose weight. You know, I feel like I'm happy with my weight. I just want to maintain healthy habits. So there's one you can do weight loss. There's one you can do, you know, maintain healthy habits. They give you a certain amount of points. And each day you have those points to eat. And, like, things are zero points. Like, eggs are zero points. Chicken, zero points. Vegetables, fruits. A lot of stuff is zero points. And then other things are more points. And, like, it's good because you can still eat what you want, but, like, you're limited. So are they giving you food or what? No. They they do, but it's – and the thing that – it's called freestyle. And that's the thing that's so great about it is that you don't have to eat their crappy food. You can, you know, make your own food. And, like, if you want a piece of chocolate cake, you can have it. You can it. bring it oh. – you, you can put it in there. But, like, you say you get 30 points for a day, you know, chocolate cake's 10. So it's yeah. just a matter of it takes up a lot of points. Yeah. So it's just, it's, more, it's more so just the idea of, like, watching your weight. Yeah, and it, it works. But but you can get food through them, too, though, right? <laughs> yeah. It's more the idea of just watching so your weight. Are, are they just giving you ideas of what to watch, what to eat, I mean, or what? Um, I mean, I'll pull it up. I think it's essentially cutting or counting calories just broken down. So instead of, you know, yeah. 1,000 and 1,200, it's 10 and 12. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, here, like, if I go here, that's kind of low. Oh. So, like, I have 33 points today. So, like, I ate, you know, grilled nuggets that are zero. So, you're still eating whatever you want, though. Yeah, but, you know, obviously. So, you know, so basically, basically you're, just, you're just putting it in. Yeah, the and system you're tracking and it. And calculating it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, my mom lost, like, 140 pounds doing it. Wow. Yeah. So. I saw her the other day. I was like, I saw her, like, walk by. I'm like, hey, it's Lexi. I was like, yeah, that's crazy. crazy. That's de- that's definitely just a good way, uh, like a, like a simplistic way of counting calories versus like actually adding up calories. Points is definitely a point system, definitely, yeah. and obviously based off of you know your body type and your weight mm-hmm. and all that. That's yeah. pretty cool. But yeah. I definitely need to stop doing it, and I just need to kind of like eat healthier. Try eat just healthier. going around. I, I love what you're doing. I like, wish I, I could do it. I need to start working out. Obviously, yeah. You know, if you see me with yeah. my shirt off. No, you're, you're not. No, 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 dude. Dad no, bod I've 2020. I've been rocking a dad bod for the Girls past love year it. Listen, I pull up the North Pole right. Boom. Listen, you know. I'm out. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> girls, girls, <laughs> love, girls love it, but you know, everyone knows they love a nice six pack. You know what I mean? <sighs> What do they want to lay on? All right, the six pack or the fucking you know. I'd rather have a six pack than a one pack. Yeah, wait. wait. Okay. Did you guys ever so, hear? <laughs> so I, I want to start working out, but I don't want to cut my weight. You yeah, know, so you just want to bulk up. Anything, so you want to change? You just want to change the fat to muscle. Yeah, I just need to. I need to take in more calories, but they need to be healthy. Like yeah. good proteins, vegetables. That's what I started. That's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to like put on weight, but like I started eating like just like. Girl, I'm taking, I'm a human nutrition, you know, and that yeah. class kind of like cut my attention on what to eat. Mm-hmm. So I started eating like, you know, I started making smoothies, mm-hmm. you know, uh, with like spinach in it, cucumbers yeah. in it, and then uh, I started eating like grilled chicken, rice, uh, you know, just stuff like that, and like pasta. Yeah, and, you know, I feel like it really is it's not, carbs. Uh, I, I don't mind carbs. Carbs carbs can be bad, but it just depends on what. You're, if you're not trying to lose weight, carbs aren't necessarily bad. Yeah, mm-hmm. like if anything, you know, I I could gain ten pounds, but it, need, it needs to be muscle. Muscle, yeah. 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 And like that's the hardest thing for. I me. need to gain ten pounds down here. The, the hardest. <laughs> Sorry. The hardest thing. Your thighs. For, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. hardest thing for me, and like you said, like you, um, it opened your eyes to what you eat in that human nutrition class. Oh, the I hardest, eat like shit. The hardest thing for me is finding a workout that's gonna get what I want. You know, like I, mean, a lift? I don't know anything. Yeah, like lifting or like. All you need is a bench. I did P ninety X for a while, and and that's good because it gives you like what workouts to do. But like, I'd rather lift because I like lifting a lot more. Yeah. Than and then doing. Did your dad do like something like that? Yeah. He got shredded from that. I remember that back in yeah. fifth grade. But dude. now every time he tries to do it. 
pulls his fucking back, so he can't do it anymore. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. But like, I mean, yeah, I use my I use my workout plan for my boxing trainer that he gave to yeah, me. Yeah, and that's good. Is like, I want a trainer, but like, you don't want to pay for it. Yeah, I can't afford it. Well, you can usually a lot, a lot of a lot of them. You can just buy a workout plan for like a yeah, hundred like, bucks. Yeah. You know, and obviously, if you, like my trainer was his his cost money, but then I got I ended up getting it for free because I was also boxing with him too. Mm-hmm. So he wanted me to just get in shape. Yeah, and it's a really good workout plan. I used it, and I started noticing a lot of differences. And also, my trainer is freaking huge like he's like five yeah. percent body fat bench is like 415 425 yeah. like he's, he's on just the cut, roids just cut no he's, not, he's the most natural dude i've ever I've, like ever seen i need he's to ridiculous. lose i need to lose my fat like my my i just i don't have a very my side oh profile. that's my, the worst my right side profile is not very good you know what i mean <laughs> my front profile is the best <sighs> but yeah i don't know i just need to figure out what works for me no yeah it's definitely just more of a personal thing what's gonna know? get me fucking jacked come summer baby you know yeah. Are you looking good? We're going to South Pool. North Pool's closed. Listen, I'm going to New Jersey. <laughs> with your roommate? No, New Jersey with my fam. Uh. And then Libby's coming too because yeah. Nathan's not going. My brother's not going, so my uh, girlfriend's coming now. So oh, I'm pretty sorry. Your sister. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my it's, it's second vacation with Libby. Yeah. So We forgot to talk about uh, Dave's sister. <laughs> oh, my. I followed her on Instagram. So we were playing Fortnite. And I was Dave like, is my roommate, by the way. Dave, so. guess whose birthday it is? <laughs> Your sister. <laughs> Being the typical weirdo. Who the guy? Yeah. It was great. Dude, she's like 18 now. 17, I think. Yeah, she's 17. 18. She's a junior in high school. Jeez. Yeah. But I never knew she was that old. What, you think she's 15? <laughs> I don't know. I thought she was like a little ass kid. But I guess everyone's getting old nowadays. Yeah, I mean, That's we're wild. getting old. Plan of yeah. attack, man. Gym. You're hitting the gym. Yeah. All right, we're gonna vlog it. I get a lot of time membership. I'll live with you. I Damn. know that's my that and that's also a big thing is I don't have anybody that will live with me. I'll live with and you. And not that not I'll that, live with you four times a week at lifetime if you get a pass. Not that I am like some big dude who like you know lifts a bunch of weight, but like I I work hard. I hate lifting by myself. Like I work hard when I'm in the gym, and like you know people at my complex like Logan and Wasam. It's like yeah they want to lift, but like. They wouldn't come like they wouldn't be able to do it with my intensity. Not that yeah. I, you know, not that I lift, you know. I no, I know, no, I know, I know exactly what you're I saying. I like to work hard, and I like to, I don't like to dick around when I'm in the gym. Yeah, you know? I hate doing that, dude. Get yeah. time pass. I'll be home. I'm gonna be home for the next month. Well, two months. Don't so you, you might as well. Don't they have a program where you lift for like ten bucks a month during like break if you're a student? Yeah. No, no, no. So, so what it is is, it's like so if you're a student membership, if you're not, if you're not lifting at home, if you're if you're at in college, it's ten dollars a month. Yeah. So would I be able to do it? Yeah, you're in college. Maybe I will, because Steven keeps telling me to get in the gym with him at Lifetime, because he goes to Lifetime, but, like, I can't fucking keep up. Where, where's Lifetime on campus? There's no Lifetime on campus. It's over on Sawmill. He goes to that one? Yeah. Wow. Most, or... If you have a car, they, I'll drive there. I, I think they go to the one of the OSU gyms. Usually. J.O. South, I see him Oh, there. dude, the I OSU gym's there. sweet. But when he's... Nah, the, not the R-Pack. The, it's a different one. It's actually the crappier one, but, like, kind of the nice one because the other one's so packed. Are you talking about the thing with all the basketball courts and shit? Yeah, that one's always packed, though. So uh, like well, it. yeah, that's where all the bitches yeah, when are. He, when he comes here, him and his buddies, they all go to life. life you get a membership, dude. I'm there. I'm, I'm going to be there literally every day this summer, too. What is it for a year? It's pretty expensive. You get it for free, though, right? No. No, you pay for it. How'd he get it oh, for free? Oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, my parents help me out with that. But. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, I it. honestly, I might. I mean, if it's ten bucks for the month of March, you it's, know, it, I can see how it is. I mean, I can get you in as a guest. I can get you in as a guest this week if you want to go. I'll do it. I mean, they got a sauna too. They got everything. Steam like room, sauna, too. hot tub, pool, All right. uh, basketball I'll court. Do it. Fuck yeah, dude. Little bo- they, they probably added some heavy bags for boxing yeah. now. It's and like rock wall climbing, yeah. uh, pickleball. I mean, not pickleball. Uh, well, what is it? Paddle, like racquetball. Oh yeah, stuff like oh, that. Then yeah. I feel like I'm gonna feel like shit when I walk in the gym. Why? Because you see all these dudes. Oh, they're no. huge. No, no, no. But it's still huge. I do, but like everyone's still there. Yeah. You know? I mean, you see, I see people there, and I, I like, you know, see someone there is a little overweight, and I respect that. I'm like, it's like everyone there has like a respect for you, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. If you're like, because everyone's like there, like you're on the grind. Yeah. And the thing I like about Lifetime is that I feel like. I don't know. I feel like at every gym, people are pretty serious. But, like, I feel 100%. like at, at, at the rec sometimes. You know, yeah, Lifetime is especially. Yeah. Like, like, at the rec, you got to run on. No one's, no one's, no one's dicking around at, yeah. at, at Lifetime. No one's, and, like, running around yeah. messing around. Cause people will get, you, I mean, you'll get yelled at for yeah. it by someone. Yeah. And then another thing is, like, you know, protein, pre-workout supplements. Like, Creatine. I don't know what to do. Creatine. 
Bumble like Coke. Steven has been Steven and my dad, they've been using these fat burners. I don't know. Which, I, one, I which, 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 which ones are they using for that? As I learned about those, there's one that I don't know, but like, but Steven used to work at GNC. He worked at GNC for a little bit over in, in, when he was this like past semester, and he said that he, you know, he gets then people return stuff. You get them for free because they've been returned and opened. And he said it's like one of the best fat burners on the market, and he's been using them. So I mean, I'll have to look at. It. I'll let you know. Yeah, the only thing is, I learned about fat burn, like how like uh, like there's like stimulants, and then there's like uh, it's, it's like lipase inhibitors and mm -hmm. like, like like inhibits you from like absorbing uh, like uh, fat basically. Do they work? Like those are the that's that one and that one and then there's one where like you just it just completely gets your appetite. Those are the three yeah. ones that are like medically proven and safe and that actually are safe for you. Yeah. Do you remember when I was trying to hit you up and be like, "Hey, let's do some SARMs." No, I don't remember that. I'm glad I didn't do it. Though. I definitely said that to you. <laughs> Probably did. It's called Orlisat. It's called like Orlisat is like the lipase inhibitor one, mm -hmm. fat inhibitor. So you like just uh, yeah, it's like all like triglycerides. You can go into like yeah. the whole like actual like science behind it. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty cool though. I mean, if that's that's definitely something that I would yeah. look at. That or the one that like increases your blood pressure and your heart rate, which is like kind of scarier. You yeah. Know? But it's a stimulant. It's like a stimulant, but like it's proven to help you burn yeah. more fat. Like, it, it increases like your your basal metabolic rate, so like you're sitting down, you just burn more fat just sitting down. You so know, now, triglycerides is that have something to do with your body fat content? That's what it is. It's like it's like fats are like broken into like different things and like triglycerides. Because well. mine are high. Like I have high triglycerides. I Meaning it's high. It's basically just high fat. And it's genetic. Like it's a genetic thing where my triglycerides are high. So I went to the doctor for like my physical or whatever, and she said that like. They should be under 160, and mine were like almost 400. The thing with 400. So the thing with yeah. the thing wow. with however it, that doesn't necessarily it, increase your fat. So the thing with like obesity, is like was not obesity. I'm not saying you're obese, but like <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, I, we, not, I did my BMI and I am. That's what they told yeah, me. Yeah, BMI says BMI. Dude, like, uh, freaking uh, like Arnold Schwarzenegger was was considered obese too, yeah. based off BMI. Yeah, it's, it's just height and weight. Yeah based off that but like like for you like i know for most people there's only like i think there's i forget how many genes there are i think it's like 20 genes that are uh like related to obesity for mm -hmm. a human being and like you like it's like it's like a one to like 10 percent chance that they're actually like activated and they mm -hmm. actually affect you so like the most that uh, obesity genes can affect you let's say your family your whole family is super obese and you like it's in your genetics only it's only 20 percent chance that it actually affects mm -hmm. you yeah so like it's not like i mean like, or only 20 percent of the genes like it, you can still 20 percent chance 20 percent of it is like gene based but then you can also just get rid of that by working mm -hmm. out you know yeah but like the triglyceride thing that's kind of weird not yeah no. that's, my that's, dad's are at like 900. that's like and it also, if you know you eat bad, they're higher. But like that might be what your dad's doing. Then is that the tri like the tri the lipase inhibitor, which is maybe helps, yeah. which just helps get rid of triglycerides yeah. in your body. And like I'm at a healthy, like not I don't know if it's a healthy weight, but I'm. At I like, think you're healthy. I'm two bills, man. Like I'm I'm happy at two hundred pounds. Two hundred pounds. Yeah. Like, and like I, not thought, no. I don't f I don't feel like I look two hundred pounds. You, you don't, don't look two hundred pounds. But you know, no. if I start working out, I you know want to get two fifteen. That would be a good Holy way, shit. I like being bigger. How much you weigh? I'm like 166. Wow. Like, I like being a bigger dude. Hey, Bill's a big body these days. Like, you know, yeah, I'd rather be bigger than smaller. And like yeah, yeah, yeah. 215 at a healthy, muscular like lean. Yeah, 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 yeah. That heavy, but 215 yeah. of fat is it's what I want to avoid. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I'll just have to figure it out. But yeah, you can get the scales, dude. That like measure like your body fat and okay. stuff like that. I think you still work out. Lift time with you, though, dude. If you get, dude, I mean, I'll get you in this week if you want to go. Do you usually out. lift in the morning or at night? Whenever or I, 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 I go, he wakes up at 4 p.m. Yeah, what no, do you think? Over winter break, I was going a lot, like 11. Yeah, and then, but like also like going at night's always fun because like, like yeah, I can't get in the guest after eight. Yeah. Okay. Well then, yeah, we'll definitely do that. For I sure. can go with you. I'll work. Tomorrow in the morning, 10 30 to 11, so okay. I can go with you at like 12. Where do you work morning. one hour? Just DoorDash. You work for DoorDash? Yeah. Really? You make good money or no? Uh, it's over 20, about 20 bucks an hour. 20, over 20 bucks an hour. Wait, Shit. why are you working one hour though? It's, it's, that's, that's like the scheduling thing. You just do that and then you just keep working after if you want to. Huh. Well, like, like, it's also because like they, they just they, they have like scheduling during like the busy times, so they for sure have people during the busy times. But like if I wanted to do it right now, I probably could. Yeah. You know, like I, I can sign on whenever I want to if they need people in certain areas, like Tuttle, Dublin, Powell, Mar yeah. Marysville. Yeah, see any hot bitches doing it? 
I've not. <laughs> really? You never just show up and it's, you know, boom. It's not like, it's not oh. like, it's not like I show up somewhere. I was just like, I'm driving my car. Yeah. Uh, do you remember the other day I had this vanilla sweet cream cold brew? Oh. Bill fucking knocks it off the table. <laughs> Dude, you don't remember that either? Man. People don't pick up on shit. Is that it? It's been about an hour and ten. Yeah, it has it? I don't know. It's been a fat minute. Yeah. I was letting you guys talk about everything. I like it. But yeah, we'll like definitely, I'll work out with you, and then if, I, if I'm into it, then fuck, dude, I'll like it. Well, shit, dude. I mean, we'll go there. We'll hang out there for three hours. Go to the, hit the hot yeah. tub and shit, dude. Hey, like, we'll do whatever. For all the girls, Billy Strong has a sweet beach picture on his Instagram. You got to go check it out. Uh, he's going to be posting another one this summer, so go follow him. My, my, my summer bod. Link down below. Billy Seach will also be featured in this picture. Um, you know, it, when you see the picture, if you're I'm turned on, I mean, I'm sorry, it's just gonna happen. That happens to everybody. My done follow. Thanks, guys, for coming, hon. Thanks, we'll man. be back next Tuesday. Thanks for having us, Bill. Episode sure, man. 69 coming. Yes, sir.